grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you, brothers and sisters in Christ. I wanted to do a quick prayer request because um, in the last few days I've been struggling big time with sin. I've uh, gotten back into what, uh, playing a couple little small video games and I uh, jumped in and watched a, a movie and I'm kicking myself really hard and it's one of those things brothers and sisters in Christ that when you fall back into that trap when you fall back into a sin that you gave up for the Lord and sanctification uh, it's like it's going downhill from there and part of this ministry is teaching prayer and that's why I can't do it alone I need the Lord and I need his perfect written word and I need to stay in his written word I need to stay busy doing things that are good things to do but I wanted to read a verse. This is why I need prayer and I pray for you brothers and sisters in Christ out there. Luke chapter 9 verse 23. And he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. Deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. Why do you think it says pick up your cross daily? Because God knows we're going to stumble. He knows we're going to fall into sin. And when we do that, He knows we're dropping our cross. Okay? We need to pick it back up. But part of this ministry, like I said, is about prayer. And brothers and sisters in Christ, I need prayer. I really do. I've been struggling with the flesh a little bit lately. Well, we're always struggling with the flesh. But I've given in to the flesh recently. And I can really use some prayer. I really can. And... Um, I know there's brothers and sisters out there that are also asking for prayer because they're struggling with things, uh, whether it be cigarettes, uh, drinking, um, all kinds of things. And we really could use your prayer, brothers and sisters in Christ. And I'm always praying for the brethren, too, that God's watching over you and helping you through the struggles and helping you with sanctification, staying in the Word of God. Um, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. I still got a long drive coming up, and it'll probably be here in the next couple weeks. Um, I do need prayer um, for the drive, and like I said, part of this ministry is prayer requests, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'll link the uh, email again, but email me. I mean, you got to. I have prayer requests galore. Okay, I work on the hillside, and I don't want to hurt my back. Um, I've tried uh, doing videos down there, and I have done a couple of videos down the hillside. But um, right now, my biggest prayer is for my future wife and for me. We could really, really use your prayers, not just the travel, but um, you know, just us trying to do things the right way and to do things God's way, and that uh, you know, God will watch over both of us until He brings us together in unity, uh, one flesh. Um, the drive. Uh, there's just so many things you can ask for prayer for. So I'm going to link the prayer um, email address again, and please, please feel free to call our call, email, and do prayer requests, testimonies. Um, one of the big things is testimonies. Send me a testimony. Um, right now I got a good prayer and testimony video update to do. I found some things in my house that weren't good things and even if you come across something that you find that isn't um, that you even think might be bad and I'm not talking about just okay I think that could be bad I'm gonna throw everything I just throw everything on the house no I'm talking about you grab something and you investigate and you research and if it just looks somewhat like it could be and or someone can look at it and take it that way um, it's best to get rid of it so I got some videos coming up about uh, some things I've had in my house that I have to throw out again and it's not me bragging it's me trying to encourage you brothers and sisters in Christ to continue the sanctification in your home to continue cleaning house okay. um, I thank my brothers and sisters out there that have encouraged me uh, that have talked with me and given me ideas for Bible studies and things for me that I'm like I don't know the answer to that so let's let me look it up and do a study um, thank you, thank you for that. So for me right now, prayer for the struggles with the flesh, prayer 
for when the time comes. Like I said, it'll probably be a couple weeks. And I got to do a 10 hour drive up and the following day a 10 hour drive back. And um, pray for my future wife and my, me. Okay. Courting's pretty much done. We're just trying to get the date set for me to go get her. And she really needs our prayer. She's going through a lot where she's at. And my heart goes out to her. And she just, she really needs our prayer. That God will protect her. Watch over her. Give her the strength to get done what she needs to get done. And to continue her walk with the Lord through all of it, Lord. So that is a great prayer that I need. So, thank you for watching. Let's get busy praying, brothers and sisters in Christ. Keep continue to pray to the Lord. Give thanks in all things. I thank Him for my future wife. I thank Him for the drive. I mean, it's going to be a pain in the butt, but I still thank Him for giving me the ability to go down there and pick or go up there and pick her up. I thank the Lord that He's given me a perfect written word to help overcome sin. I thank the Lord because He's protected her so far, and I know He will continue to. Uh, just make sure to stay in prayer and continue to give the Lord thanks in all things, and give Him glory in all things. Okay, I don't deserve my wife, my future wife. He, she's a blessing from the Lord. To God be the glory. Okay. Thank you for watching this video, and remember, I love my love for you, brothers and sisters, in Christ Jesus.